From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Impe Presents, the truth in news and commentary. Here now is Dr. Rexella Van Impe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impe Presents. If ever I were thankful to the Lord to be with you today, I am right now. And let me just say, the reason being is that we are going to be dealing with some things that we are astounded with. The title will sort of uh, give you an indication of what the program is all about. Terrorism accelerating, but peace coming. I can hear you right now. You're saying, Excella, how can that be? Terrorism and peace, they don't go together. We're going to show you how terrorism is everywhere around the world, but there is going to be peace. And we're going to show you how that is possible. But before, we're going to be giving you a lot of headlines. And uh, I am so happy as uh, I can introduce my wonderful guest today, Dr. Karabaugh. He is from uh, near Dallas, Texas, and he's the founder of the, and director of Creation Evidence Museum of Texas in Glenrose. Now, that's just a little way outside of Dallas, and if you're in that area, you really need to go and see the museum. And I, I, I tell you, Carl, I could take almost all the time to do your bio. This is so wonderful how God has used you. Hey. I'm going to skip. Right yes, down the to briefer the better. Oh. <laughs> yes, we want to get to what you have to say. Well, in 1990, he was the co-director of an expedition. He's been on many expeditions searching for Noah's Ark on Mount Ararat. And he directed the construction, when he got back, of a 25-foot ark. And it is now in the museum. So you want to go see it. As I said, it's really, really wonderful. And Carl, it's wonderful of you to take time to fly up from Dallas and be with us today. Thank you so much. Well, it's such a delight to be identified with the truth of this ministry and the fact that our Lord is coming and there, there's hope in perilous times. And I've had the joy of being with this ministry almost half a century. Yes, yes. And you know, that, that's true. He's the longest sitting board member on Jack Van Ippie Ministries. Oh my, oh my. You've been on there almost as long as I have. <laughs> well, well, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to get into the subject right now. Terrorism. Jack Van Ippie, before he went home to be with the Lord, spoke about terrorism. And it was so close. He's been gone three years now and he's with the Lord in heaven. But how good it is that he referred to terrorism. You know why he was so authoritative on it? Because it's in the Bible. Yes. And he was the walking Bible. Take a look at what Jack had to say about terrorism. Oh, this Bible's so up to date. Even though Jesus said this 1900 years ago, it's happening now. And in Matthew 24, 37, he said, As the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. When I return, it's going to be like it was in Noah's day. And in Noah's day, Genesis 6, 11 says, The world was filled with violence. Hear Jesus again in Luke 21, verse 9. He says, When you hear of wars and revolutionaries, wars and terrorism, don't be frightened. These things must first come before what? When they're happening and they are, watch the Middle East. Then shall they see the Son of Man, Jesus, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass and they're here and now, look up, your redemption draws nigh. That's the redemption and salvation of our bodies. Romans 8, 23, when he says, come up hither and listen to verse 31. He said, when these things are being fulfilled, with great touristic activities. It's coming and coming soon. Then what? You know, my kingdom is nigh. I'm ready to return and set up that thousand years on earth. And he went on to say, the generation that lives to see these things, we're seeing them. 
is the generation that shall not pass from the earth. Hang on, sleep well, because one of these days we're going home as soon. Oh, yes, Jack, you were right on. And we're seeing it right now. Did you notice he used the word terror when he was talking there just a moment ago? Well, I'm going to be showing you some things that I never imagined I would ever see in this country and around the world. We, we will be including that in a moment, too. But take a look. Six-year-old shoots teacher in Virginia classroom. Going on, 10 killed in shooting at California dance studio. Oh, yeah, he was there for a good time and, and shot the people. Shooting a suspect kills himself after 10 slain in that dance studio. Second shooting in California has uh, everybody just reeling. There's an attack. They killed seven, and it may have been because of work-related. Going on, two students dead, adult hurt in Iowa shooting, police say. Do you notice we're going all over the United States? Not just in California, but everywhere. And take a look at this. We're not just going to stay in the United States. We're going around the world. The impact of terrorism where? Around the world. Oh, yes. 50 feared killed in terror attack. There you are. Terror attack on Nigerian Catholic Church. Deadly gun attack at Russian school. Oh, my, oh, my. And then at least 35 dead in preschool mass shooting in Thailand. Do you notice, friends? It's around the world. It's everywhere. Let's go to the Middle East. Jerusalem bombings. Teenager killed. 19 others injured. Jack referred to the Middle East. Take a look at this one. At least seven die in Jerusalem shooting. And let's uh, stay there for a minute. Oh, my. This is really moving my heart. Israeli-Palestinian violence grows. We'll be talking about that in just a few minutes more. Well, you know, friends, as I said, it's not just here in the United States. In fact, uh, there were three more headlines I could have put in right at the end that just happened in the last two days. Oh, my. Carl, I have never seen anything like this in my lifetime. Terrorism like we've never seen it before. Dr. Rexella, I have lived to see three plus generations in my life. And during a number of decades, I've listened to Dr. Jack Benepe scores and scores of time recite a verse of scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 3. We are now seeing that portrayed in living color in our time. This no also, verse 1, 2 Timothy chapter 3, that in the last days, uh, Dr. Excella, you're right, and Dr. Van Ippie was right. We're in that generation. Now, for those watching the program, we're not here to spread I fear. We're here to give hope. But in order to give hope, we have to let you know precisely what's going on and that the Bible predicted it all along. Watch closely. Perilous time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Oh, what a case that is. Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Mm. The pulse of a global rebellion against what is right is now being felt and headlined around the world. And watch this in these brief moments. Incontinent. Now, uh, that's a word in the Greek that was used to show without the power of self-control. That is precisely where we're living today. And all of this was forecast. And of course, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, all of this indicates that the Bible all along has demonstrated the truth and that Jesus is coming. So we're here to let you know what the real facts are and then to give you hope and show you how to get there. Amen. Amen. Peace coming. Peace is coming. <laughs> Peace is coming. But before we see this happening, something that I could not believe. I would look up in the sky. Take a look at what we saw happening. Eyes on the sky. 
a U.S. fighter jet shoots down Chinese balloon just off South Carolina. I could not believe it. Did you see that? The balloon in the sky? Well, something else happened. U.S. military shoots down fourth high altitude object. Well, the last one that we shot down was over Lake Huron. Military shoots down object over Lake Huron. I can't believe what is happening. Well, the Chinese reacted to our shooting it down, the, the balloon I'm referring to. Shooting down spy balloon, ah, they said, obvious overreaction. We may shoot down, look at that, U.S. aircraft. That's where their mind is right now. China has a lot of explaining to do after spy flights. Well, they, they've done something that I never imagined. They were violating the sovereignty of five continents, yes. not just the United States, but they were going violating nations, five continents. Well, you know, I, I said to Dr. Ba, I have never seen the Bible so much in the headlines as we're seeing right now. Look up and you will see how things are coming together. We're going to be referring to China's reaction in just a few minutes, friends. But they, they reacted by saying, ah, they didn't need to shoot that down. Well, we know it was a spy uh, balloon. So uh, they admitted that. So Dr. Ba, I'll tell you, we're seeing things in the sky that we never saw before. I never imagined it. Let's see if we can put this into perspective. In Revelation chapter 9, chapter 16, and Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39, we have a scenario playing out. Watch very closely, and China figures in primarily being the leader of the kings of the East. The scenario plays out like this. Gog and Magog, Russia and the Confederation around Russia, which has to do with China, Iran, Pakistan, etc. Russia leading an attack, and recently, Russia said to us diplomatically, we have ICBMs that can destroy intercontinental hypersonic ballistic missiles armed with nuclear warheads that can wipe you off the face of the globe. That is their threat. Simultaneously, we have the Chinese sending out a balloon that's as tall, that was as tall as the Statue of Liberty, almost 200 feet tall, with instruments for spying and observing locations and listening to specific communications over the United States of America. So we have this scenario being played out, and it is not accidental that that is in the same perspective with the decay and violence. So we have a global visual pulse of violence echoing in the streets and the classroom. And it looks like this old book, The Word of God, is again being demonstrated to be absolutely accurate. We are in the generation anticipating the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's so well put right out of the Bible. And I'm going to stay with that subject that he referred to just a, a moment ago, and that has to do with uh, China, how they're building up. They're going together with Russia. And that's Ezekiel 38. We're going to be talking about that in just a moment. But take a look, please, at China. Putin tells you he wants to ramp up military cooperation. Now, that's yes. putting Russia and China together. The next one, Russia and China carrying out joint Air Force drills. Well, there they are in the sky. Let's see what they're doing in the ocean. Russia announces joint naval drills with China. And then going on, South Korea scrambles jets after Chinese-Russian warplanes approach. They're frightening everyone in the skies. And then U.S. defense chief, China-Russia seek might makes right world. You see that? China and Russia. Oh, how the Bible talks about them coming together. And here we are. 
Israel's spy agency warms up deeper. Iran, you referred to that too, yes. Dr. Ba. Iran, Russia arms ties. Well, you know, when Jack was here talking about the coming war with Russia, he, in fact, he even put a, a video on it, the coming war with Russia. He referred to those countries getting together. And the Bible refers to those countries getting together. Russia, China, Iran, and Turkey also. Dr. Bod, I never saw the Bible come to pass so much as, as it's coming right now. And described literally hundreds, thousands of years ago in Ezekiel's time, over 2,500 years ago, literally describing the events that we're witnessing today. So it is, it is inexorable. That is, the Word of God can't be changed. And that means that God anticipated all of these things and uh, simultaneously with earthquakes around the world. Our audience needs to know in brief that Jesus said in Matthew 24, 7, that there would be earthquakes in divers places along with these other senses of rebellion and the things that are occurring. In the thousand years immediately after the time of our Lord Jesus, there were five major earthquakes known. In the 14th century, there were 150 major earthquakes that were known to civilization. In the 16th century, there were 174 major earthquakes. But watch closely. In the 19th century, there were 2,119 major earthquakes in the world. But Jesus said there would be earthquakes in divers places. The Greek word there has to do with petrology, with continental shelves, with movement under the earth. That anticipates the technology that we know today. Do you realize, oh, please get this, because we want to shed hope in your heart. Do you realize that the United States recording uh, has a, a major bureau to record earthquakes around the world? Now, this past year, there were over 20,000 earthquakes, not all major, but over 20,000 earthquakes recorded, some as deep as 500 miles below the surface. And that indicates that there, on average, there's an earthquake every 30 minutes around the world. Jesus knew what he was talking about. So as Dr. Rexella explains to you the events, the terrorism that's going on, please listen because we want you to have hope in this final generation. Amen. I just, it's really hard for me to figure out how people can hear the Bible like Dr. Baugh is giving it right now and not have their eyes open because we're seeing everything the Bible is talking about right in front of our eyes. In fact, he mentioned earthquakes. I would really like for you to see something that tore my heart apart. And it's here we are in Turkey and Syria. Powerful quake hits southern Turkey and northern Syria. Take a look at that, please. Can you believe how an earthquake can do that? Now, Jack and I were standing in a, on a mountain one time, and there was a slight earthquake. Nothing like that. Oh, my, going on. Quake launches frantic search in Turkey and Syria. What are they searching for? Lives. So many lives lost. You know, the, uh, nobody warned them that they were going to have to uh, find a safe place. There they are. Here you see it. Earthquake deaths, toll sores. Well, they started out the number of the dead tops 4,000. Oh, that was what they started out with. Take a look. Earthquakes in Turkey, Syria, death toll climbs above 11,700. Going on. Anger builds in Turkey as quake deaths pass 33,000. Okay going from 11,700 to 33,000. And then let's go on. Death toll in Turkey and Syria from February 6th earthquake rises, where? Above 40,000. 
it keeps building and building. And now I just received uh, something uh, just uh, a few minutes ago from my CEO. Death toll from Turkey, Syria earthquakes passes 46,000. The U.S. vows more aid. You know, I want to refer to that in a moment, too. And then Turkey faces homeless crisis uh, after quakes destruction. You know what, friends? They don't have food over there. They don't have food. They don't have medicine. They don't have water. The hospitals are overflowing over there. It's just a crisis for them. Not only do we need to be praying, but I'm very happy the United States says they're going to be helping. But oh my, can you imagine from an earthquake that reached over into Syria also could do such 46,000. And they said it could, they could climb even more. But they have stopped now looking for those who could be alive. Dr. Baugh, did you ever think in your lifetime that you would see, though literally see in the headlines, something like this? Not only did I not anticipate seeing this, there was not the capability when I was born, not the capability of seeing this. Technology now gives almost instantaneous communication around the world. So here we have uh, an incredible tragedy, but it continues to the point where after a few days, bitterness builds and then anger builds. Anger at what? Anger at who? Unfortunately, in the midst of tragedy, first we turn to God and then afterward, unfortunately, the nature of fallen man is to say, God was responsible to this and blame God and turn our back so that it won't even consider being a part of his family. So instead of that, we need to get the gospel around the world. And fortunately, these words that are given today on this broadcast are going to be communicated around the world and maybe some barren, hopeless heart will find hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. There's another need that I really feel is going on around the world, and that's the need for peace. Only the Lord can give you peace in this troubled world. That's the only way that you can have it, friends, but you can have. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I will give you peace. And you know how you can have that peace? Not just by saying, I want peace, but by receiving the one who's offering it, the Lord Jesus. That's why he came, friends. The only reason that God sent his son into this world the only reason that he died on Calvary to take your sins, my sins, the sins of the world, was to give eternal life, forgiveness of our sins, and peace. You can have this if you'll just, in a moment, pray this prayer with Dr. Baugh and ask Jesus to be your Savior. You need him in this troubled world. You need to know for sure that you are ready because of all the terrorism going on in the world, you could go. Anybody can. But you need to have peace in knowing that. When you close your eyes, you'll be ready to go to be with the Lord. You can have that. Dr. Ba, I wonder if you would please pray the prayer that the Lord gave to us to receive him as a personal savior and ask those who are watching right now to pray with you that they've never accepted Christ, if they will do it right now, please. As I speak to you with an open heart, will you just listen with all your heart and mind? There's a little sidebar to that wonderful promise Jesus gave as Dr. Rexello quoted just a moment ago. My peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. And he added this sidebar, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. 
You see, the world's peace is an imposed temporary peace. But when you receive Jesus Christ, He's in absolute control. We cannot understand all the tragedy, any of the tragedy, but God is too wise to make a mistake and too good to do wrong. Would you pray this simple prayer with me right now to open your heart to Christ and His peace? Dear God, I'm troubled. We have a world in chaos. The pulse of this generation is terrorism. I'm disturbed, and you're my only hope. And you said in the Word of God that Jesus was your Son, that in spite of my sinful state, I could have peace, I could have forgiveness. And dear God, right now, I turn to Jesus Christ as my Savior. Lord Jesus, I open my heart, I open my mind, I open my life to you right now. Would you come into me? I receive you as my Savior, and I live for you with all my heart. You're my only hope, and I give all myself to you in Christ's name right now. Amen. You know what? Let me know if you prayed that prayer. I'll send you this wonderful little booklet, First Steps in a new direction, you can have peace. Well, you know, we have a wonderful offer for you. And if you order this offer, you're also going to be receiving this program on a DVD plus more information. Bob, would you please tell them how they can receive it? To order your copy of the book, God's Good Plan, with the bonus DVD, Terrorism Accelerating But Peace Coming, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Van Impe Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Van Impe Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, N9A6Y1. Thank you so much, Bob. Please order God's Good Plan because we are also going to be enclosing this program in an extended DVD that you will want because we are giving more information. I want to leave this thought with you. Always remember, live today as if you will stand before God tomorrow. Bye-bye. God bless you. The preceding program was paid for by the partners of Jack Van Impey Ministries.